If there's any product where you find ours more expensive, please let me know. Nothing can stop us. Welcome to MM Integrated Steel Mill. Uh, this is the first of its kind investment in Zambia and in Central Africa. The first investment in eight neighboring country, which has got totally solution for roofing, from basic raw material to finishing. The investment has given a lot of job opportunity for Zambians. As we are talking today, we have employed over 250 Zambians and expected employment by end of next year when the expansion is completed would be about 600 local Zambians and uh, be proud by using a Zambian product. The value addition is helping the economy of Zambia and uh, we wish the Zambian economy all the success and industry all the best. Awareness campaign to Proudly Zambian, proudly brought to you by Zam. Welcome to our awareness campaign for Proudly Zambian, the show brought to you by Zambia Association of Manufacturers. My name is Mumbi Kalimba. We'll be taking a tour of one of the biggest plants here in Lusaka's industrial area. MM Integrated Steel Mills Limited is the company that we are focusing on on this particular show. And I will be given a tour by Mr. Nendra Jane, who is the Director of Finance and Administration here at MMI. I'm pretty sure you've heard the name before. Obviously, we do have people that are watching uh, right now and hearing of the name for the first time. So what is MMI all about? Mr. Jane, the Director of Finance and Administration here, will be giving us a tour. Absolutely great, uh, Mr. Mr. Jane. Yes. Uh, it's great having, uh, having us here. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. So we take a tour of, yeah. uh, of the plant to give us uh, the process of how the, uh, the com uh, this, uh, this plant works. Yeah, this is the first phase of our project. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, we are planning a big investment in the future. As we go along, I'll explain in more detail. Mm -hmm. But currently what we have started is uh, the manufacturing of galvanized rolled co cold rolled coils. Okay. And uh, this is basically we import the hot rolled coils, uh, mm -hmm. and then we uh, have a rolling process which is called the cold rolling, where the thickness is reduced, mm -hmm. and then it goes into a continuous galvanizing line, where zinc is coated on the steel coil. Mm -hmm. That material is uh, mostly used for uh, roofing sheet purposes. So this is the raw material. This is the raw material in packed condition. These are, each coil is about, these ones are 8 tons and imported from South Africa and India. Mm -hmm. And they come to us via the Dar es Salaam port. These are 2 mm thick. The thickness of this sheet is 2 mm. And the length is about 500 meters. It would be around 500 meters. This is the raw material that we are using. And once it goes into the rolling, the length after the thickness is reduced, the length keeps on increasing. So depending upon the thickness that I am targeting to produce, it can go up to 5,000, 6,000 meters, this same coil. This is where the rolling starts. Uh -huh. We 
put the 2 mm coil here it comes into this machine it goes that is a rolling mill okay actual rolling mill where it passes between rollers okay and then it uh, as it passes it passes at a speed of 500 meters 600 meters per minute uh, with a total force of about 600 tons where the thickness gets reduced so it goes comes back goes comes back which we call it a pass and as it is passing the thickness keeps on reducing and here by seeing looking at this screen we know what all is happening inside the mill everything what is the thickness that is coming out this is the thickness that is going in and this is the thickness that is coming out okay so this is is like a bible on what is happening inside the mill you see this graph uh -huh. it is showing us what thickness is being rolled see, our setting is 0.400 that is our set point that i have set the mill so that it produces 0.400 uh, thickness sheet in this particular pass and this is 0.400 and what is 0.01 and 0.01 so how much is being produced within the specified range we get to know out of this so if we, if, we, if we got any any technical fault you be able to detect uh, from yes. uh, from this uh, digital display and and if the thicknesses are going beyond the specified points mm. basically a quality control measure so that uh, the thickness of the sheet is uniform product which comes out of the rolling mill okay the 2 mm thick coil hr coil that we saw on the other side mm -hmm. has now become 0.270 okay. the 2 mm has let's be reduced to 0.270 and you can see the weight is 8.99 kilos i've i've noticed that uh, it has become slightly uh, thinner not not slightly it's actually thinner than uh, much much than, thinner than the roman mill That the raw material was 2 mm. This has become 0.27 mm. So what, what exactly is happening here now? Here, the coil is being prepared. The sheet is being prepared for galvanizing. Okay. It's called a continuous galvanizing line. and the basic thing is the basic process that is happening here is that the zinc is getting coated on the steel sheet zinc has to be coated in order to make the uh, sheet rust proof it becomes rust proof the life of the sheet if you use a plain steel sheet without the zinc on a roofing it will get rusted and corroded very soon by coating a layer of zinc on it the life of the roofing sheet is enhanced tremendously it becomes rust proof happening on the galvanizing line right from the entry up to the exit what are the various temperatures what is the temperature on the zinc pot what is the lead pot temperature what is the furniture tem furnace temperature then what is the speed at what speed the coil is getting exited what is the process speed during the process and what is the speed at entry anything goes wrong if anything is uh, not normal we know from here we don't have to be present on the uh, ground this is the similar to what we saw on the rolling mill side this is the furnace what is the temperature inside the uh, preheater what is the temperature inside the preheater what are the speeds what is happening at the exit section like what is the same uh, with the other control uh, we saw anything went wrong you will be able to detect uh, at this Place. From, from yeah. So what exactly is happening here? This is the actual furnace where the zinc is being coated. This is called the flux tank. Flux tank where the flux is being coated onto the sheet. Uh -huh. It is an addition of flux and powder. It goes down 
and this is the actual zinc pot where 199.995% uh, pure zinc is melted at 700 degrees centigrade and it is getting coated on the sheet. The sheet is coming out uncoated, goes down, comes with a coating of, with a coating of zinc. The, what we call the air knife. This is an air knife which blows air at high speed in order to maintain the uniformity of the zinc coating. It has finished the cooling process uh -huh. when it comes here. This is water. Okay. Water. It is cooling the sheet further down. It gets cooled. The sheet is cooled here. This is ammonium chloride. It gets the coating of ammonium chloride to increase the shine of the sheet. Okay. Shine and also to protect the zinc against any other adverse factors. Okay. The sheet is coming here uh -huh. and it gets spoiled here. This is the finished product now. Okay. A steel sheet coated with zinc. This is the finished product. Ready for production of roofing sheet, IT4, or to be sold as a coil. What, what is it that you do with the finished product? This is the finished product called galvanized cold rolled coil. Uh -huh. Now after this, I have customers who buy the coils. So I sell it to them as a coil. Otherwise, I can use it to cut it and produce roofing sheets. Or I can produce IT4 profiles. Okay. Or I can produce ridges. I can prepare bull noses out of this product. This is more of an intermediate product to be used for further processing into production of roofing sheets of various types. finished coil from there has been loaded onto this IT4 machine and this we are producing IT4 now. It is called an IT4 profile. It goes into the coiler. It is a fully automatic machine where we uh, preset the length and the number of pieces and keeps on and it goes on producing as per that program. As you can see the coil is coming in here, the plane coil and as it goes into the as it is going into the machine, it takes its profile, which is called the IT4 profile. Fully automatic machine, it is being done automatically. So now this is the final port that the roofing sheet that is coming out. Yeah, this is called the IT4 roofing sheet. You see, it gets cut automatically. How many roofing sheets does this machine uh, produce in a day? Uh, it, uh, I cannot tell you the number of roofing sheets because the lengths are different. Okay. Different customers, they ask for different lengths. We can produce up to, we are producing between 2 meters to 13 meters. Yeah. The maximum length is restricted because of the transportation. We cannot uh, transport sheets which are longer than 13 meters. But otherwise, this machine can produce any length. Now, this is the corrugating machine, eh? uh -huh. where the corrugated roofing sheet uh, is being produced. Uh -huh. What happens, we get the, the coil, goes to the cutting machine, it gets cut. And those cut pieces, they come here, where they are produced into corrugated roofing sheets. So what is the difference between the, uh, this, uh, this roofing sheet? Those are IT4 profiles. They are much thicker, these are much thinner because those are used mostly by industrial, for industrial users, big houses, big industrial sheds. These are the cheaper ones which are used by the housing sector. Okay. All power that goes into the rolling mill goes through here. Okay. Electrical modules to maintain the voltage and the frequency. Driving the electrical of the electrical system of the rolling mill.
This is the PLC panel, the programmable logic control, where all electricals of the rolling mill are going through from here. What we saw in the control panel, control room, yes. where everything is being measured and data is being transmitted, it goes through from here. Every switch, every light is controlled from here. So the control of uh, controlling of this plant is basically digitalized? Yes, through this programmable logic control. This is for the rolling mill. There is a separate panel room like this for the galvanizing line. What you see in this room is only for the rolling mill. And the next room, what is it, uh, what is it for? Same, for the same. Uh, it's uh, it divided into two sections. The panel room has been divided into two sections. Eh? Okay. But this is the electrical controls for the galvanizing line. Uh -huh. What we saw earlier, the mm -hmm. panel room was for the uh, rolling mill. Mm -hmm. This is the one for the uh, galvanizing line. This is the oil that we saw on the rolling mill. Uh -huh. During the rolling mill, the oil. The oil is being reprocessed here. The oil comes through a drainage system, gets purified and cleaned, the temperature uh, checked and maintained, and it goes back into the rolling mill. It is basically called an emulsion, a mixture of two different types of oil and water. Okay. It is for this, for this machine to separate the oil from the water. And... No, no, no. Ah. It's just maintaining the temperature. Oh, okay. And cleaning it. So that it can be reused in the process. These are the mixers. They are stirring the oil. So that the oil, the two, the three components get mixed properly. That is the cooling tower. That's the cooling tower. Yeah. Water coming in, red water coming in, hot water going in, getting cooled, recycled. About. This this portion is uh, the support uh, part of our industry, which provides the pure water, air, cold water, and the oil treatment. So like you see here, uh -huh. this is the water treatment plant, which is basically a RO plant, reverse osmosis. It purifies the water by removing all bacteria, oxides, and things like that, so that the water that we use in the process is pure. are the air compressors which provide the required air uh, like I showed you the port hydraulics and pneumatics is being supported by these air compressors okay. that is the cooling tower to cool down the hot water uh -huh. so, so basically in this, this part of the plant what role does it play in the entire operation of the plant? this is the support this is supplying the uh, requirement of the plant. Our plant requires air at high speed, at high pressure. These are the air compressors will provide that air so that all the pressures are being met. This is the tank which is containing the air. And as the uh, machine requires air for uh, moving the cylinders and moving the uh, pipes, this air is used in that process. Okay. I understand you have plans of uh, expanding the uh, the plant as well. Yes, yes. Now tell us more about that. Yeah. As you can see, this is our uh, existing plant, mm -hmm. which is producing the galvanized coal rolled coils. Mm -hmm. Just adjacent to it, mm -hmm. we have already started digging the foundations mm -hmm. for the color coating line, where okay. the color coating line will come, where we'll start producing color coated coils. Mm -hmm. Adjacent to that, that is in the. This is expected to be operational by end of this year or early next year. Mm -hmm already ordered the equipment and we are expecting to receive the equipment mm -hmm. so hopefully by end of this year or early next year if all goes well mm -hmm. then we should be in production by end of this year or early next year okay. adjacent to this is what we are planning to uh, set up the plant for the hdp water tanks and hdp water pipes mm -hmm. that will come next to it and after that the area uh, beyond that will be utilized for the tube mill okay. where we'll start producing the steel uh, tubes mm -hmm. 
uh, black pipes, cork, quiet tubes and mm. other similar products. Okay. If you look on the other side, those are our warehouses. Mm. Those are our existing warehouses. We'll pl expand our warehousing capacity on that side. Mm. So basically, on one side there will be the production area mm. uh, where the plot will be used for the production plants. Mm. And on the other side, it will be the warehousing area. There's uh, an expansion of the program here as well. There's yeah. this building that you are constructing here. What is this about? Uh, this is our uh, office administration block uh, mm -hmm. where we'll have all the offices mm -hmm. and uh, we have got a clinic with a full time doctor who will be here, mm -hmm. two nursing stations, there is a mess mm -hmm. uh, with a kitchen mm -hmm. for cooking lunch and food for all the workers, mm -hmm. a place for them to eat, mm -hmm. and the administration offices. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Looks this nice. Is, this is, uh, this, uh, we are expecting it to be used, in use in another two weeks time. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much that, isn't it? It's just the final touches. Just the final touches. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Yes. What exactly um, so are, the these, are these products? products? Uh -huh. Okay, here what we have displayed is uh, corrugated roofing sheet, uh -huh. uh, IBR, ridges, again color IBR, color, uh, plain uh, IBR and uh, tile roof. Here it becomes, this is the canopy type what we make. We can make uh, roofing sheet in a round shape also, so that is what uh, we have displayed here. And this is for the bull nose. You can see most of the uh, industrial uh, shades you'll find the corner bends which is called as bull nose. Uh, this comes in various colors, mostly in uh, the commonly uh, used colors are green, blue. Uh, I can say this thing. is uh, it's quite uh, it's quite lengthy, it's yes. quite long. Yes. Uh, no, what? this is the maximum uh, size depends on the customer needs. Mm -hmm. But here what we displayed is 3.6 meters, mm -hmm. and this has got a uh, wide coverage area of. Uh, a corrugation uh, roofing sheet. I see that they are different uh, in, in shape uh, with, uh, yeah, with this one. This is the here. regular corrugation roofing sheet and this is the industrial, uh, we call it as IBR, mm -hmm. which is used for mostly for industrial and now uh, houses also they are commonly used now. Uh, this is again the ridges mm -hmm. which, covers, which uh, we only produce the more uh, wider one. Mm -hmm. This uh, before uh, uh, ridging it is about 450 millimeter width. What, what is this used for? This is for the corner, the two joining place. We mm -hmm. use it on the top of the, the top of the roof. Yes, roof. Okay. And again, it is the plane. Mm -hmm. There's an, another color. This is again the color uh, IBR. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the plane IBR. Mm -hmm. well, what about this one here? This is this is called a tile roof. Okay. This is again used for, I mean, the modern houses. Now, uh, obviously, the, uh, the people that are watching right now would want to know why they should go in those uh, hardware shops and look out for MMI uh, roofing sheets. Let's talk about the quality of these roofing sheets that you're producing uh, here. See, mostly we don't compromise on quality. Uh, there are various thickness available, depends on the customer needs and budget. We have got, uh, for corrugation roofing sheet, we have uh, starting from 0.25 to 0.4, but most commonly used corrugated roofing sheet it starts from 0.25 to 0.30. And again, if you come to the IBR, it starts from 0.30 to 0.50, which is commonly used. Again, same thing in colors also. Depends on the budget of the customer, and uh, yeah, it's of course, uh, oh, how much they are. So if I, if I came and I said I gave you a specification, I say the length of uh, the the roofing sheet that I wanted. Yeah, we cut as per the yes, we we can able to cut as per the size required for the customers and so that's not enough. In Zambia, the construction industry is growing now. Mm -hmm. Mostly, uh, people are bringing uh, roofing coils from outside and corrugating and uh, selling to the customers. But here in MMI, we do all the process from beginning from. Uh, we are bringing hot roll coils, doing the cold rolling, 
we are doing the galvanizing here and we are doing cutting here corrugation basically it is totally a, a basic i mean what you say it is from the raw material to the finished products we are manufacturing here so the zambian by zambian thank you very much for yeah. uh, sharing Thanks. with us uh, uh, some information on these beautiful uh, roofing sheets here our NS campaign for Proudly Zambian made possible by Zambia Association of Manufacturers, ZAM. My name is Mumbi Kalimba. Keep supporting locally produced products and keep watching. Until next time, bye bye. I love Zambia.